And welcome to the Telstra Dome. It's Richmond versus Brisbane. Richmond's certainly been on the improve. And, of course, a uh, pretty young forward line there. Been impressed with the form of Rewalt and Morton over the last month. And Nathan Brown hitting some good form. Terrific late in the game, wasn't he, last week when the match needed to be won. So the Tigers 7-8 uh, and eight at the moment. Uh, let's, and, of course, the draw. Let's have a look at uh, the Brisbane Lions. Their form on the road, and particularly in Melbourne, we've seen in the last two times they've been here, has been pretty ordinary. Absolutely. Look, they've been very strong at home, as they usually are, but on the road they've struggled. Got beaten by Melbourne down here in Melbourne, also got beaten by the Bombers. So they'll be very keen to make sure that they can get four points away from home and big reliance upon Brown and Bradshaw to kick their goals. Looks like Tim Nodding starts on Richo. Yeah, that's going to be a big call, and we see the matchups there. They play a big role at forward line. They need to get some ground level ball in the forward line, the Lions. The Tigers and the Lions are underway. <laughs> and one Ruckman went to ground, one went up. Both missed the ball. The Tigers came away with the footy, but not for long. Sherman to Luke Power. And now to Black. And uh, both of their season midfielders decide to go back before they go forward. Anthony Curry, oh, from out of play. That could be controversial if they score from there. And Cock delivers, but it's cut off before Bradshaw can arrive. You get another chance at it though with the left boot and he will run it home for the first of the night. Well that all started interestingly. Corey took a mark. I wonder if he played on from four to the mark. I reckon he did. Yeah, definitely. I'll go good call there, Tim. Good great pickup and be able to play on like that. Certainly didn't go back behind the mark. But Bradshaw was good enough to be able to get the ground level ball and get it forward. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we saw the Lions and they played against Essendon and started terribly. So the start is very important. They've put a focus on it for this week's match. Daniel Bradshaw and Jonathan Brown have both kicked more than 50 goals for the year. It's a good start for Bradshaw. Certainly is. And the good crashing, bashing stuff out of the middle, as we would expect. Foley doing what Foley does best, generating some footy for the Tigers. He'll try and respond, but Rowe shows his dexterity there, linking up with Drummond and Adcock. An important inclusion for the Lions, surging forward. And some good movement again from Bradshaw. Good anticipation, the Tiger defence coming a cropper, but uh, McGowan's courage rewarded because the Tigers can bolt through Jackson. McGowan's still paying for it, hasn't picked himself up yet. Here go the Tigers. Bowden doesn't have Brown. It looks as though Moore has that job. White mown down. Has some supporters, but Brisbane aggressive early. Merritt trapped over it. Wasn't his oh, doing, and there'll be a ball up. And just a couple of other matchups. We see that uh, pretty big clash there, cutting across. Stiller on Foley. So that will be an interesting matchup. And also Jackson's gone to power. So some really key matchups for this game. So Tigers a goal down, Nathan Brown putting the ball into a handy spot there, opening things up, good pressure, Pat Fallow on Revolt. Oh, the umpire laying a shepherd on Simon Black, and there uh, was a heavy collision. Black had the better of it, Revolt to Jackson, scoring position for Richmond. It's a goal, no it's not, it just missed. Gee, I liked Rewald twice he got it, twice he was pressured, and he was able to get the handball out on both occasions. The Geish obviously instructing his umpires to go in hard for the ball tonight. <laughs> yes, they've Three opened back. up with great desire. Now you've had, now you've had some time. Clear it out. And the Tigers now at the moment are employing that much publicised 15-man zone. Or well, it's 16-man at the moment. Drummond with the duties. And Adcock, prominent early. Well-placed ball to the wing for Simon Black. Johnston having to come from behind. Steadfast Newman, but Johnston clever enough to hit Power, who has taken his place in the lineup despite the speculation during the week. Tambling the spoiler, but no one can spoil Jonathan Brown. Keep coming, keep coming. Bradshaw and Copeland the long targets. Richo pushing back inside the circle as well. Goes with a shaped ball for Bradshaw, and wasn't it well shaped? Too strong. Uh, Bradshaw just leant back on Thurstfield, and once he had his body in position, let the ball come onto him. 
and it was just a very very smart look at that just the strength of the arm and the body to protect the ball and that's a little bit of a worry early in this game not a lot of support for first field either Bradshaw's kick on its way as you can see certainly not close to being on target but uh, it's going to be a talking point as it always is Vossi the tall forwards for Brisbane versus whoever they play against it is the one thing you know though that Brown and Bradshaw the difference between their good and bad is not that much where they've been able to get their additional goals from Brisbane when they've played well has been at ground level Simmons doing the crumbing did it well for Bowden Delidio Jackson and that's a very good kick to Tambling. Shook Brown off. Did it confidently and well. Good stuff from Richmond. Assertive play. Delidio just got a bad bounce. Tambling again. And he had the right idea, but he just didn't execute. And McGrath stands in the way. Travis Johnston now for the Lions. And Sherman. Exciting start here. Both teams looking to go forward quickly directly Sherman goes long black tuck with him straight back to Johnston who knows how to use a footy most times McGuan good courage just caught one a couple of minutes earlier didn't flinch there and Richo spending plenty of time deep in defense so far tonight helping to cover those giant forwards for the Lions Kane Johnson on the way out got tambling or back for Richo or it was actually meant for McMahon and it eventually gets there despite the efforts of Copeland Troy Simmons finding balance of issue Charman finding lots of teammates around where to next the long option was on but he decides to go via Jonathan Brown Bradshaw with three Tigers but none of them close enough to stop him well it's interesting I know you said uh, three Tigers Richmond desperately dropping numbers back to get in front of Bradshaw because it's the combination it's the second time we've seen this round to Bradshaw so Richmond certainly working to get numbers back will they be successful that's it uh, they don't seem to have been close enough yet to, no. to Bradshaw to actually help out the pinpoint passing uh, two times now by Brown to Bradshaw is the problem for them so here he goes again Bradshaw he should have the feel for the the end and the footy and uh, one out of three for Daniel Bradshaw. I wonder if he's given Luke Hodge a bit of counselling since he's been down here in Melbourne, Vossi, about uh, making sure that you're in attendance at the birth. Daniel Bradshaw, of course, missed a final a few years ago to do as Luke Hodge was prepared to do and forsake last night's game. It didn't become necessary. Newman takes it wide for Delidio. Brown and Bradshaw having a goal for goal struggle for their clubs. Leading goal kicker award. Bradshaw currently two ahead. Here's Richardson, active early. Joel Bowden, controversial this week. Now, was that mark completed over the line? I thought there was a little juggle in there, but it's paid to Simmons. Gee, I can see Joel Bowden getting uh, plenty of ball tonight, playing half back and midfield for the Tigers. Richardson to McGuan. Sets it in flight. A long way out. Big task there for the man in the middle. Tuck. Numbers against him. Johnston. Doing it nicely for Dalziel. Sherman and McGrath mucked it up. Newman to nobody. Mistakes flowing. Power on the non-preferred side. McGrath. This is dangerous for Richmond. Oh, good tackle out. By first field. Just didn't quite finish the job and win the free kick. Tiger fans not happy. I think it was a fair call, though. Jackson over the ball. Got to get it out. Just managed to get rid of it. It'll be a ball up. It's an interesting tactic that the Tigers are using at the moment. We see the chase down. Could have been holding the ball. Didn't quite complete the tackle. But they're prepared to give the Brisbane midfield time and space, which in the last few weeks, sides have decided not to do. So the Tigers prepared to stick with their structure, which may mean this turns out to be a scoring fest. So the free kick going That's Richmond's way. And he won't concede it behind with this kick. Out to half back. McMahon into motion. To the wing to Richo. Judged it beautifully. You can't say the same for a row, but at least he had a crack. Johnson. And now Tambling. More promising build-up. It's a deep build-up. 
long ball. Norton was waiting down. It didn't get down. But he's packful. And Merritt were able to sort it out for the Lions. And then bring their little runners into play. Power up to the wing. And a well-placed ball for Copeland. Brisbane mopping the ball up out of defence very well in the early stages of this quarter. His Tigers haven't been able to break through. Copeland, good centre for Adcock. Nice delivery. Cochin has just come on, guarding the mark now. Collier takes it wide. Brown helping it back to Riscatelli. Wasn't going to be able to break through there. Just depends whether the Tigers can keep getting numbers back in front of Brown and Bradshaw. That's their plan at the moment. Five times they've gone inside their forward 50 and aimed it at Bradshaw. Brennan, third man in. Centred the ball, put it in a good spot. Sherman got it out well to Collier, just dispossessed. Tigers hold up. Schultz to Thursfield. Bowden and McMahon both there, and it's the latter who comes away with it. To the wing and to Johnson. Cotchen, at least he, he kept his feet because Sir Newman hadn't. And Edwards on and in. And not oh. quite for Richardson. It wasn't a great connection with the kick, was it? The Edwards kick was just flat and low. He didn't quite connect properly with it. Row to Delzeal. Not a lot of manning up going on. What a debut last week. More disposals than anyone ever on debut on a record. And the kick goes out to Stiller eventually. Good run from behind, which is always a good sign. Patful, not usually this adventurous, but running forward and giving the Lions a chance. Sherman clears the path for Travis Johnston, hunted down by Foley. Tiger fans again looking for some assistance from the umpire, but White didn't wait to have a look. And there's Tigers on, on the wing. This is Rebolt. He had a running mate going past, but he decides the more central option. Bowden eventually goes to the man that gave him the run, and Delidio can line up. I reckon the Foley tackle at halfback has set this uh, opportunity up for the Tigers. And it will be Nathan Brown, who was there last week when they needed him late in the game. Here's the tackle. Have a look at it. Foley just stripped Johnson of the ball. More importantly, he recovered and got a handball out to set up this attack. And Brett Delidio, 19 goals for the year. Has spent some time up forward and uh, also bit on ball he's sending it to Nathan Brown who puts it through for a goal that's a one-point ball game find that turnover caused the the Richmond to get out to be able to get in behind the defense and as a result Delidio just popped into space and to be honest, Adcock had dropped back and Brown was able to drop into that hole. So, good start by both teams. Matthew Richardson starting on the wing there. Already had five marks early stages of this first quarter. Clearances in Richmond's favour, 4-1. Riscatelli just couldn't break loose Notting she's they hitting hard don't they the tackling intensity of modern day AFL it's just ferocious Richo getting back at half back there that's a good shot of him and the reason he's back there is to get in front of Brown and Bradshaw and Ash McGrath at the other end good clean knock by Clark whipped it over the back Collier wasn't expecting it Tigers win the clearance. Johnson, Schultz, Thursfield, and Moore. The key defenders combining well. What? Tigers on the build. Took them nearly 12 minutes to score their first. And they've done well to be within a point, bearing in mind Bradshaw's had three set shots at them, or kicked the goal and had two other set shots. Now the skipper, Johnson. Gee, that was a good kick. It was. It was a very patient build-up, Fossey. There was no panic, no kick to a contest, about three short kicks until they finally set someone up in the forward 50. And it's Mitch Morton who has been a very productive forward for the Tigers. Five last week. 15 in the past month. One that got away for the Eagles. 
they could do with goal kicking forwards and they let this fellow go quite kickable the angle the test and it's out across the face so scores a level bit of a strange old start in some ways Vossi isn't it well it is and both sides at the moment are well, it doesn't look like anyone's manning up, that's for sure. And I'm just trying to work out at the moment who that favours. Richmond at the moment, a very high, uncontested team. They set up that way. Not too sure whether that's the way Brisbane really want to play because it sort of almost sets up the way the Tigers want to. So, be interesting to see how the game unfolds, who this suits the best. Yes, beyond the halfway stage of the opening term, and only one goal each. Revolt thought it was play on. Mitch Clark has time to think about it. And now ends up surrendering some metres to bring Merritt back into the game as they try and switch or think about switching. And literally for Richmond, as we scan the field, as you see up the field, there is an 18-man zone currently. There is, I don't think there's a Tiger player who's manning up. No, what they're doing, Vossi, it's very much like Hawthorne play under Alistair Clarkson. That's a really good shot. You can see the Richmond players in black are just filling space. Therefore, the Brisbane players... They're just trying to chip it around. They look forward. All they can see are Richmond players filling space, so they're putting hesitation and doubt in the mind of Brisbane's players. So I guess that the run and handball's been the way the teams have... And that's what they're after. Got through the grid, isn't it? Yeah, and that's what they're after. They've tried to slow Brisbane's play down. They don't like it, especially when they've got two big forwards up ahead, and now Richmond are away. Makes commentators just about redundant, Tim, doesn't it? <laughs> Richardson. It's positive out everything, I well, guess. Some people might like that. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon they should get rid of it, the cluster. <laughs> well, this is the venue, of course, for the least surface area, too. And it's far more clusterable. Johnson, prominent early. Newman. Scores level. Tigers advancing. Jackson. Morton is at the end of it. Pat Fort didn't collect cleanly. Push in the back against Morton, a bit careless as he approached that pack. And it's at Cox ball for the Lions. So, Vossi, I mean, obviously the Lions coaching staff would be seeing what we're seeing. Will, will it take to a quarter time before they can really get a message out there that perhaps you know, to, to run to try and get through this? Well, they have to be patient, yes. At the same time, when the game's ready to be taken on, they have to do it. Sometimes ball movement creates movement further up the field. So can't let that play in Tigers' hands. It's got to play in Brisbane's. Bradshaw's got nodding as his prime target here. Has he got the placement right? He has almost on his own, but just beaten it to death. And uh, already a move's been made. McGuan's moved on to Bradshaw. It was Thursfield for the first 15 minutes. Hasn't been a lot of tackling. Simmons. Well, not sure what he meant with that. He certainly didn't get a result. Clark well tackled out by White, releasing Richo. Cochin. Just a bit hot with the kick. Revolt not gathering it. Brisbane holding up Dalziel. Rowe. To they're forcing Brisbane wide as they go forward. Very few Brisbane balls taken in the corridor. Oh, Brown, a bit misguided with the hand pass. Newman steals it. Not an old-fashioned battle of the back lines, but uh, a new age battle of the back lines here. Good tackle. Ball up, which involves everyone on the ground, doesn't it? Kane Johnson with eight disposals. But it also makes... Disposals are uh, something of a maybe not irrelevant, but what does in this game? Hutto, it's more the advance. The, the really crucial ones will be as they're going forward. Do they keep going backwards and lose ground, or do they make advancement further up the field? So while I'd say the quantity doesn't matter as much, certainly the quality is going to be a definite factor. Nodding, let's fly, and Bradshaw's got away. Just couldn't quite get there though. Could have been a free kick. I probably didn't think so. Bradshaw with another shot for goal. Gee, what about the strength of Bradshaw breaking that tackle, Vossi? Strong? Oh, he's strong. And at the lines, of course, they call him big guns, and you've only got to just look at him. But the thing that you don't 
realise his core strength is just so strong. When he plants his feet, he is hard to move and rarely gets outmarked. Maguan having a tough time early. He's got tougher since he moved on to Bradshaw. Tigers escape. White. Johnson. Now, things a little more open up front. Richardson's there. Mark number six, Richo. Oh, he's a target and a half, and that's a very good kick. Excellent kick, and Delidio should go back and have the shot. Gee, it's a lovely kick. You're right, Tim. The, he weighted that kick to perfection. The big fella back in the team. And so many Richmond supporters, all they're talking about, they want Richmond to play finals for this man because he's had a super season, the 33-year-old. He's the heart and soul of the club. That was a golf approach shot, that kick. Just right for Delidio, who kicks his first of the night and puts the Tigers in front. And this is the critical. When you're going to have a loose man back, you have to influence that contest. You have to be able to kill the ball because now the Tigers are away and they're caught one-on-one -on -one in the defence. Delidio started well. So they've gradually kicked the last two goals. You wouldn't say they've come storming back, the Tigers. It's been a game of patience so far, and the margin is at four. As the Ruckman crashing, you'll expect that tonight with Simmons and Charman. A little shake from McGrath to try and get through. Brennan, who started on the bench, his form has been really up and down in the last six weeks. Look at the tackling of Richmond. Three tacklers there on the Brisbane Lions player. Richo's now gone to the goal square. Daniel Merritt is his opponent. Notting, who was his opponent on the wing, has stayed there. 13 tackles to five, and Lee Matthews won't be happy with that because that's a stat that uh, Brisbane are normally fairly dominant in. And that's the area they have to dominate in, Hutto. You nailed it straight on the head because their contested ball is their strength. Their ability to be able to win the ball in the contest and worry the opposition out as Richo's gone forward as Merritt picks him up. So sometimes you have to play to your strengths. Yeah, Richo having a rest. Just three goals for the quarter. For the, uh, ma for, the, for the match so far, between both sides, Richo with eight touches, as we said, and six marks. Charman down to Black. Mariska Tally. Good movement ahead. Sherman would have thought about the handball to Notting, who was yeah. flying past. Travis Johnson's in the goal square on uh, Tambling. That is a bit of a worry for the Tigers. Brown's down there, and so is Bradshaw. Oh, good spoil. Count Morris. Good. That's the way you spoil. That's a statement. Long and strong. And that used to be the feature of your side's boss. Mount Michael it? like yep. that. Have a look at that. Straight over the boundary. Now he's got to get ready for another contest because the ball back into play. Bowden. Against Bowden, he's put the... I don't argue. Hey, 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 hey. I'm playing the free. I'm playing the free. He stuck the elbow. I think it was a forearm in the gob. Yeah. OK. We'll have a look at the replay. Saw a couple of those today uh, in the Collingwood Essendon game. Yeah. Right in the Adam's apple. That's good they're paying those. Because that is a dangerous act. Right, fair call. So Travis Johnston is averaging 20 disposals this year for the Lions. And has shown an ability to kick goals over the years. 15 so far for the season, so just over one a match. And he waited and finally can celebrate. The Lions are back in front. kicked the opening goal of the night 23 seconds 
35 seconds in and then had to wait 23 seconds for their next. Ooh, not the best bounce. Tigers footy through Simmons. And not a bad kick. Cochin just not able to hang on. Drummond caught high. So Brisbane's ball. It's two and a half minutes left in this opening term. Stiller. Just putting Dalziel under some pressure. Did well. Power. Rowe. Good chase by uh, Patterson. Long ball. Just a bit too long for Bradshaw. So it's another behind. Good ball movement from the Lions. Out of defence. Drummond cut back inside on his left foot. Created the run. Bringing it through the corridor, which uh, they didn't do for the first 15 minutes. Brisbane Lions were forced wide. Now starting to get some ball going down the middle. Jed hanging a long time and Scarman for the good old fashioned ride. I think even like that. And unfortunately the kick didn't match the mark. And the Tigers away now. Jackson setting up for Nathan Brown. Stalking along the outer wing. What a talent young Cochin is. Oh. Must give Tiger fans great hope for the future. Unfortunately Edwards. Handball intercepted by Rowe, who streams forward now for the Lions on the counter-attack. Black seeing a lot more space than they've been used to seeing so far tonight. Bradshaw third in line. White, it does get to Bradshaw in the end. A little dance and off to Stiller. Black instantaneously onto the boot and out wide for Jonathan Brown. He's got Brown out wide. Tight angle, 50-50 chance to kick it is Brownie. He's uh, not bad at these set shots, opening up the angle by walking around the boundary line. There's the Jamie Charman mark. How good was that? Have you ever seen him get higher than uh, that, Vossi? Well, I was looking at his expression on his face. Well, I think he was quite in awe of himself, I think, was he? With what he did there. In awe of himself. <laughs> Greg Norman used to get in awe of himself. <laughs> so here's Jonathan Brown. Oh, he's a master. And the Lions lead by nine. And both their goals, or attacking moves, the last couple of attacking moves have been through turnovers from the Tigers in the half-back flank. They've been able to set it up as an attacking move for the Lions, so... Getting some good rebound off the half-back flank. The man of the moment. Yes. Made a safe landing too, which is important. In awe of himself. And straight back into the fray in the centre. Brennan. Numbers against him. He Jared comes Brennan up with knees a free kick. His back. Tigers he didn't need to do that. Back. Could be costly in the last 40 seconds. Light goal either way. Big value. Collier feeds it to Riscatelli. Just pulled the kick. Gee, and Brisbane will look at this and say could well be further ahead and they just might be in the dying seconds of this opening term they've had nine scoring shots to four and the inside 50 count 17 to 12 and terrific interception there by Corey of the kicking and we can see there McMahon's kick just not sharp enough hard enough low enough Corey playing his 50th game tonight after just six matches in the past two seasons played every game this year And kick 17 goals, 15, what's more. Which is all important now as we watch him try and get the alignment right, despite getting plenty of grief from the Tiger fans behind the goals. And they'll be happy with the miss. In fact, it doesn't even register at all. But the Lions lead by 10 as we head to quarter time. Well, a good uh, opening quarter, uh, Hutto, and uh, I would think that Brisbane would be a little disappointed they're not further in front. Nine short scoring shots to four. But certainly the tackling of Richmond, a highlight in that first quarter. Joel Bowden, part of the team on the bench for the Tigers as we get underway in this second term. 
Charman trying to give the service down to the small men, but Delidio having other ideas. Tuck and Simmons. And now White, who's been a pretty good player for the Tigers this year. And you can Ooh. see one of his attributes, he's pushed the limit with the amount of run there, Richo. Merritt, who's been an opponent of Richo's in years gone past. And a Merritt spoil, an absolute beauty on Richo. The, the, big, the big fella's just taken to that fullback position like a duck to water and is really defensive, strong, doesn't take too many risks. Jackson. Foley. Umpire gives it the OK. She. Notting has it under his control. And now Drummond on. Almost on his wrong side, was able to get a kick away in time for Rowe, who will back himself. And a low, hard ball. You wouldn't mind being the full forward. Jonathan Brown would take that nine and a half times out of ten. It may not Got matter. For a kick. Gee, lovely kick, wasn't it? Virtually standing still and just chipped it the 16 metres to set up a shot for goal. Sherman to shoot for goal. Beautifully placed ball for Justin Sherman, who's played 12 games this year. His kicking has been terrible. Four goals, 10. But that's OK. And the Lions lead by 16 now. Well, Jonathan Brown was able to make amends for falling over pretty much. Like was mentioned, he'd take that mark nine times out of 10. But his use of the ball, which was special, over to Sherman, who's had in different form this year. But uh, certainly looks like he's running on top of the ground tonight. And was this out of play, boys? Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. The whole ball has to be across the line. It looked as though it was. Black. Giving it up. Brown for Richmond, just lobbing it to a spot where no man stood. Attacking at Patful. McGrath, it's just happening a little easily for Brisbane at the moment. And the lead's blown out somewhat dangerously. Dalziel, the second gamer to Drummond. And Brisbane entering and delivering to Copeland, who can line them up with relative ease. Well, he gives to Drummond, who is a lovely long kick. That is a lovely long kick. It's a goal. That was all too easy. Well, it was. And Copeland's playing pretty much as a defensive forward on McMahon. And we'll see uh, Copeland take the mark there. McMahon, the uh, halfback playmaker for Richmond, just three disposals in that first quarter. It's all a bit easy for the Brisbane Lions at the moment, isn't it? What would Terry Wallace be thinking at this stage, Vossi? Well, he'd be certainly concerned because he's been led to the ball and Patful showed he left his player and he took off and backed himself in. That's what the Lions are doing. Brown, the outlet for the Tigers. Revolt having to use his body, but Patville had it, it all covered quite comfortably. And this is McGrath. Makes the escape at the crucial time. Dalziel's the insurance for Patville. Right, Lions refusing to be hurried, but it does fall away at the Tigers, at least in the short term. But now Adcock with a different view on the situation. Still up, feeding Black, feeding Brown, who's always hungry, but not this time. Schiltz. Rolls the dice a little, and it doesn't come his way. Charman, lines are all pretty much up and about. Low fire ball in from Drummond. Well trapped on the bounce by McGuan. Shields, Tamley, quick decisions needed now. And it was a pretty hurried one. It had to be a handball went wide. Bodies collide, and it's a tiger ball. Decision, I think that Corey was the one that initiated the high contact. Now Schultz is going to try and do something about it. So, uh, Tigers getting a bit of their own medicine from the first quarter. 
As the margin stands at 22, and Richmond got a lot of work to do. Chief Tambling backing himself with his run, brought down, but uh, caught over the shoulder, so he gets a free kick. And Brisbane are putting that pressure on that they're known for. This is what made them the play. Um, put them in the position that they are in on the ladder was their pressure to be able to ability to be able to turn over the ball Tambling perhaps trying to spark something because that's what Richmond lack at the moment. Here's Richardson Good spoil made by Merritt just prized it away Patful Notting Drummond Brisbane in control Drummond having an influence also at both ends Corey Tigers not wanting to concede another right now. Moore, been up to the task most times on Brown. Now the head clash a moment ago. Gee, they both went pretty hard at the ball, but Patterson was there first. Mm. And that's why he was awarded the free kick. Corey just arriving a fraction of a second later. Tuck quick hands, Delidio on the break. And this looks more promising for the Tigers. But the hand pass is a shocker. And uh, that's a shame because they had a fast break there, three against one, and the errant handball by Delidio. Well, maybe Johnson had to push that little bit harder to collect. Maybe he can't bend as he once used to, Tim. And now his hand passes, mother Delidio back for another go. Foley. Lean picking so far. Tambly trying hard to get something happening. So is Delidio. Johnson. We're going in a big circle. Foley. Patterson wants to play on. Cochin. From the middle. Good delivery. Good spoil. It was an arm chop in yep. the opinion of the umpire. Simmons ball. And Cochin followed his own kick up and can have a shot. Every time there are some players, every time the ball goes in their hands, you take your eyes off that player because you just know that he's going to use it well. And Cochin. The youngster is one of those. And uh, it's a great bonus for Richmond that they've got a first-year player who has got that poison class and nous. And he is just going to be a wonderful playmaker for them over the next 10 years, we, barring we, injury. We see a lot of footy walls. It's hard for us not to wax lyrical about a young man like him, isn't it? Because he just looks so good. He does. Nathan Brown, a terrific finisher. Back to 16 points. And the Tigers just have to hang in here. The Lions are on a run. So the scoreboard just has to keep ticking over. That man is having a big influence on this game, as in the AFL early on in his career. And the clearances may have been won in this quarter by Richmond, but it hasn't done them much good. Tigers have got Richo coming up to the wing. He's been at full forward for the first eight minutes of this second term. At the moment, the man with him is young Brad Delzeal. So that's a welcome to footy in your second game to be running with Matthew Richardson. And that's where they've got to make the quick change. And they have Rowe said, I'll get back. Dalziel covered him. And now Rowe has uh, gone back. So that communicate now Merritt comes out. So good communication by Brisbane Lions. As Newman, as it opens up, Edwards was ready for the handball from Johnson. He didn't take that avenue. McMahon for his own advantage. Richo behind him if he needed him, which he did, but he couldn't find him. The Lions defence, just with sheer weight of numbers, Bringing it out, Merritt's kicked out. Just dropped on his trajectory. You can see the look in the eye of Tamley. He gets sense an opportunity. Brown has to go hard. Again, too many lines, bodies in the way. And Adcock can steer them out of defence. Drummond's already had seven touches for the quarter and ten for the match. And time for McGrath to think about how he's going to bring the ball into attack. He didn't have to think long and thought, yeah, I might go for Jonathan Brown. Yeah, it's tough on the defender. It is, isn't it? Your right arm drags his He right stayed arm with him there. all the way too, more. That was a big lead by Brown, some 50, 60 metres. So to stay on his tail, it was a fantastic effort. Brown just two marks so far. Stiller, the centering ball. Charman getting to the drop, but falling over. Corey, 
just couldn't quite go all the way. Tamblin is really trying hard for Richmond at the moment. Simmons and Johnson, Tark, and now the sweeper sets up Richardson in some space. Has to limit his advance to Brown. Delizio. Oh, just couldn't quite hang on to it. He's taken it over the line. It's called out. Gee, it was a good effort by Delizio. He ran 50, 60 metres. Richmond supporters think he could have marked that. I think he did mark it. Well, the umpire says it looked like he didn't hold it. Let's have a look. No, I don't think he did. He was, wasn't in control. I reckon it found some grass, but uh, you could argue all night. Nathan Brown has two of their three goals. Oh. That's a good kick for Rebo. That's what great players do with a ball in their hands. It just stands out, doesn't it, Wolsey? And just it was, fantastic. And it was a lovely work at the boundary throw-in. They hit it away from their own goals, so the player with it, Brownie, was facing and didn't have to twist and turn. He was able to sweep around on the left. Big Richo off for a breather. And this is the future of Richmond kicking. Same intense look on his face as he had that night after the siren against St Kilda. He gets a better result here. A goal to Jack Rebel. Now, just for the moment also, I think that Ash McGrath is currently on Brown. You'll see the separation there. Just didn't get body contact against a good player. So the margin cut to 10 with consecutive Tiger goals. And then Revolt putting it through. Giving the Tigers some hope because they were looking at, without that, just a few short moments ago, streaming forward again. Edwards, well-placed ball from Morton. Didn't quite get the bounce he was after. Collier couldn't quite collar him successfully. And the umpire, in fact, deems that it was too high. Smashing him out of the middle, was he? Yes, and taking it straight through the corridor. They're starting to get a pretty dangerous forward line with uh, Mitch Morton, Rewalt, Richo, Nathan Brown hitting really good form. And they started at that centre bounce with Brett Delidio in the goal square at full forward. And uh, Delidio's already had 11 disposals, but rather than take him off, Terry Wallace puts him in the goal square because he's got so much talent, maximises the use of a quality player. 15 goals in the last month for Mitch Morton. And no problems there. It's back to a four-point ball game now. What a turnaround, one that we, we didn't see, but I guess that stack you talked about of the clearances out of the middle, Bossy, finally getting uh, the, the rewards you would expect. Yeah, one man that's having a huge influence is Nathan Brown. And at that stoppage, or the last one at the boundary throw-in, they're smashing them around the stoppages at the moment. It's 9-0 now. For yeah, the it's just it's hurting Brisbane big time. You can hold it up for so long, but at the Telstra Dome, and as Luke Darcy mentioned a couple of weeks ago, the centre breaks become very important at this ground because it's hard to get back due to the speed of this ground. Just like that last centre bounce, Morton in picture, as the ball was bounced, he's playing as a forward, but he's starting pretty much on the wing, and he just ran towards his team's goal, put pressure on uh, his opponent. Another clear clearance victory to Richmond. Patterson getting it quickly onto Simmons. Just couldn't back back enough. Clark showing good mobility for a big bloke. Sherman to risk a telly. Just too strong for Brown, but he read it earlier than his opponent and is able to run on, kick long and kick a very, very good goal. He hasn't had a lot of opportunities, Braniac, for shots at goal, but, gee, he's made the most of them. That's a wonderful finish. Up, 
I mean, look at the uh, interchange bench there, and you can see Jamie Charman, the big fellow, and uh, Simon Black. That might be one reason, Vossi, why they've struggled a little bit. Mitch Clark, obviously, uh, learning the caper. Riscatelli, normally not bad at generating some footy out of the middle, but again, great anticipation from Foley that time. Jumped onto it quickly, down to Nathan Brown, deals it off for Morton. More handball around, it ends with the man who started it all, Foley. And he just can't finish it in the style he would have liked. That's an absolute purple patch out of the middle for the Tigers. This is Adcock for Brisbane. They've been very good in recent weeks at uh, limiting their opponents at clearances to just 34%. Second lowest percentage conceded over the last month. Brisbane working around down the back. Patful out wide to McGrath. Brown starting to take an edge on Moore. What a big task for the young Tiger defender. Simmons, Richmond Ruckman has come off. Richo's come on and gone into the back 50. Patterson having to cut across in front. I don't think he was the infringing player. He couldn't have been. It's a free kick though to Bradshaw. It's at least three times in this game that it's been a Brown to Bradshaw play. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of it. Thumping kick from Bradshaw. Did he thump it enough? Not quite. He kicked the first goal of the night. He's kicked four behind since then. Lee Matthews and Drosh Drummond exchanging views. Maybe not. Maybe it's all one way. We're not sure. Newman for Patterson. Oh, that is wonderful footwork. Great awareness from Cochin as to what he needed to do. Links up with Delidio. I reckon we'll say that a few times in years to come. And young Edwards on the end of it. Titch Edwards, Tim. Titch. Just pops it over the top. Hard running from Bowden. And he can line them up. Good use of the ball and Cochin started it. Fossey at halfback. Oh, his footwork was just absolutely amazing. His ability, watch here. And just that step to lose Adcock. He is no slouch as a tackler, Adcock. And just to be able to leave him in his wake is just a pure talent. So we watch Joel Bowden, who's kicked six goals, 19 for the year. Not the thing to really instill you with confidence as he comes in. But history proves no problem for Joel. It's back to four points. How are you reading this at the moment, Walsey? Because the Lions are not getting much out of the middle of the park and they're making the most of their opportunities, but Richmond are certainly making the play at the moment. Oh, I reckon Richmond are looking really dangerous. I do. They've got a, a forward line that constantly changes. You've got uh, Richo down there, then he's away. You've got Delidio there, Morton, Rewalt. They look very dangerous up forward. Jamie Chalmers had a really long spell on the interchange, uh, boys. They're, they're letting uh, Clark, and we see him here with the bandaged shoulder. Against Patterson. Again. Another clearance victory to Richmond, and Foley likes these. He hasn't had much of it tonight. Hit the stick. Wanted a better result than that. Did hit the stick and the margin is three. I think Brisbane have got to push their forwards up. They've got to get their half forward flankers up the ground so their wingers can protect that space behind because they are getting smashed forward of centre. When the ball breaks into that space, they're getting left behind, so they've got to get their forwards up the field. And Patterson takes the mark. I figure the ball was already over the boundary line anyway. Foley just coming into your frame in the last few minutes. Racking up five possessions over the last two or three minutes. This is Schiltz. Tigers pressing. Richardson the target. Richardson the marker. Now plenty of lines back filling the spaces. Mark eight to Richo. Just beyond him you would think. So he goes for a pass. 
Great imagination shown by Richo there. And Schultz sliding in for the grab. Yeah, Schultz knew what was on Haddo. He didn't know nothing. Well, was he? Had a big night against the Lions a long time ago up at the Gabba, didn't he? And kicked big six one night back when you're at your at your best. Was it six? Yeah, he kicked it on Mel Michael. Sorry, Mel. To the top of the square. Crashing in, Simmons, right on time. And he can line them up. It was a nice kick in, in as much as it wasn't uh, a big hanger in the air. It uh, had enough elevation to give uh, the big fellas a chance to have a run in it. So well done to Schultz. They are looking so dangerous when they move the ball into their forward line. Troy Simmons. Ten goals, six for the year. He's got a good history against the Lions, averaging 19 disposals, 20 hitouts, and four inside 50s per game. And he gives Richmond the lead. Can you believe that? That looked most unlikely in the early stages of this second quarter. But apart from that one long goal for the Lions, He's been, been all Richmond. He's been important, Simmons. He's started in the middle, and now he takes this sensational contested mark. The run and jump. And then the balance to be able to go back. Super important to have a Ruckman that can do all those things. Just have a look at that. Have a look at that. And that's why this man needs to be on the ground. He's been on the bench for the last 10 minutes. This kid's trying, but he's not really a ruckman at this stage. Charman needs to be out there. 12-0. Total domination. Make that 13, although it'll come back quickly. Adcock levering it out for Drummond. Typically probing kick. Back to meter. Travis Johnston. Brisbane needing a steadying goal. It's chopped off by Tark, and Richmond now playing with confidence. Their form early was surprisingly mediocre. They were coming here with such good form. In fact, Essendon's effort over Collingwood today, really making Richmond's win over them last week look very good. The Tigers have been playing good footy, and there's a lot to play for. They can set themselves up for a real tilt at the finals with a win here tonight. Well, the Tigers have won four of their last five games, Tim. Simmons. Oh, just a little bit too strong for Titch. Uh, Clark to Black after a bit of a breather. Now Riscatelli within range, and he misses. That would have been a great counter for the Lions because they've been outplayed for most of this quarter. And just to be able to nudge in front would have been very important. Tambling and Revolt knew exactly what was going on there. Off the left, this is White with a full head of steam. Not this thing. No, I reckon no, the umpire's no. got this right. Yeah. Yeah. You marked it and you're half pulled up, you're running into his territory. Play on. Well umpired. Play on. Not sure everyone shared the same view. In the stand. Back to White again. Corey was closing. Standing start stuff for Kane Johnson. Can Richo get there? He doesn't need to. Reva. Uh, and Hutto, just what you said there, he doesn't need to. It's been 10 years since you could say that. And now this, this young kid is just improving as each game goes by. And have a look at that. Eyes on the footy, Jack Rewald. Courage, skill, lovely high leap. Struggled last week, was goalless, but is in good shape tonight. For his second. Richmond extend their lead. They're out to an eight-point lead.
Brisbane centre quartet getting their heads together. They've got some hard thinking and talking to do in there. They're being smashed. Richmond have kicked six of the last seven goals. Won every clearance of the corner and they've won another one. Tuck. Delidio. Back to Tuck. Long ball. Revolt. Simmons. The two of them collided. And they both felt it. Delzeal off to Rowe, Power, McGrath, and Brown. There, Getting some kicks, Brownie, but they're up on the wing. No Revolts won't, won't worry Terry Wallace that much. Drummond. Let's see a couple oh. of targets. One of them is Brennan, who's been quiet. He's got this. Beautiful kick. Had the sound effects of a great golf shot, didn't it? Off his foot. He and said he's been quiet, Tim. He's had one disposal, Jared Brennan. This for a man who here a couple of weeks ago had over 20 and kicked four goals. He kicked three in the last quarter, didn't he? Will he kick this? No reason why not. I think he will. From outside 50, it is a lovely kick. Important goal for Brisbane. And he's been thrown into the middle to mix it up. And he did spend some time early in the year in the middle. And he was winning some good ball of late, played forward, had an impact there. And I know from speaking with him that he has really enjoyed his time as a midfielder. They've probably got their best centre square combination in at the moment, Brisbane. There's Charman and Black and Power and Jared Brennan, who just kicked that last goal. Foley again battling on. Got a handball out to Jackson. Should they work hard oh, there? I don't like how Brisbane are setting up at the centre square. Delidio's kick chopped off by Patford. What an improved player he is. And these two sides last met midway through last year and the game was a draw. Patford was a, a forward kicking several goals. Sherman's got them into attack. Dalziel. Oh! oh. Rocking finding the out, league footy. Yeah, finding out the physical element of senior footy. It gets up and back into the fray. Now some high contact there. Jamie, 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 be more careful. Oh, that's a great bump. And he got hit, but he got straight back up and he dived after the next ball, so well done. Schiltz just measuring off the pass. Kane Johnson prolific tonight. His 18th disposal brings the big man Patterson into play. And Brown, who we haven't seen for a few minutes, stretching out is McMahon now. Standing start, Richo. Rowe is athletic enough to go with him. You can see the pace of Collier. And I think he's drawn some illegal oh, contact. From Collier. Daniel, with me, Daniel. With me, Daniel, Daniel. So 90 seconds remaining in this half. What a tight, interesting struggle it is with Richmond leading by two, but the Lions with at least one more chance to surge forward by Travis Johnston. And it's a beautifully controlled kick. Doesn't get an immediate result. In fact, doesn't get a result in the end, other than a throw-in. Joel Bowden, a moment ago, copping a bit of a poke in the eye or a whack on the nose. Accidental from Jamie <laughs> Charman, of course. <laughs> Ooh, some hard contact there between two Tigers. There'll be a ball up at Brisbane's 50. Luke McGuan in there. He it was who dished out that shirt front a little while ago. And the legal hip and shoulder is still... Quite permissible, and at the right moment can be executed to good effect, as Brad Dalziel discovered. Tuck to Jackson, took his time. Brown, who's done his fair share on ball. Nice kick, Schultz. In the last minute now. Two points in it. Johnson's ball for Richmond. Now, surely they'll attack here. No. Surely they'll try and kick a goal. Well, they might via the switch. 
Moore will receive. Thirstfield to try and run to receive from him. And does. But can't advance. Tambly. Brisbane with the numbers back. And Richmond just not daring at the moment. Now there's a bit of an opening. Rose hurt. More to Delidio. For sure, Simmons. And he did well against Collier. Just fended him off. It was a bit big and strong for the young Tasmanian. Now, if he waits, he'll hear the siren and recognise the precise circumstances. Good thing that Terry Wallace has done in this first half. He's continually mixed his forward lineup with players like Simmons and Schultz and Richo, the big fellas. Then you've got Morton and Rewalt, who are tall, athletic. Delidio's gone to full forward. Nathan Brown's gone in and out of the forward line. Cochin spent time there. The forward line is continually being mixed up. Little Titch Edwards is there. They've kicked six goals to four for the quarter. After the bell, Troy Simmons, wobbly old kick, but it's, well, it was straight. It didn't have the carry. He miscued it. So it's Richmond by two points at halfway. Well, I think that the Brisbane Lions will be happy that they're going two points down as we see some argy-bargy because the Tigers were dominating and they started in the centre square. And Richo getting a bit of remedial work even before the quarter starts, which is a little unusual after a long half-time break that he would start on the bench, was he? Yes, and... Uh... He was on the bench just before half time, so I reckon he's got a fair bit of back soreness. They're working on it. Uh, I'm sure he'll come back on, but he's not 100%. Brennan, as we saw, inserted into the middle late in the second quarter for Copeland with Moore and McMahon just nipping at the heels. And well done, McMahon. Tambling has been prepared to really back himself and try and see off opposition tonight and done so with some reasonable effect. McMahon, poor kick. Straight for Luke Power, who just pops up and goes well, straight to Jonathan Brown. Where else? And that's all you need to do is just set uh, Brownie up for a mark inside the forward 50. The big fella's kicking pretty accurately. That kick only travelled about 16 metres. And the uh, McMahon turnover, very costly. He's good from this side of the ground too, Brownie. He's actually been uh, better on the road this year than at home, which is unusual. Has... Uh, Averaged five goals a game. He's on the road. Kicked two tonight already, so he's pretty much on target to continue that trend. And that will just about help, but it won't because obviously it touched on the line. And the margin back to one. And if you see where Brownie gets a lot of his shots from or where his movement is, that happens to be on that side of the ground. He loves that side. He moves to that side, and he also finishes pretty well. Got a zone defence up the lines. You can see Richmond players push out to one side. Newman penetrated it with a very good kick to Jackson. Foley escaping. Only so far. Oh, no, oh, they got rid of that. Presumably a judge something less than a legitimate disposal. He was guessing, though, the umpire, wasn't he? Because he couldn't really see. see. To be. Delzeal kicks to Brennan. Oh, that's not a great kick, but it's well marked by Black. Adcock just got the kick on the tackle and he levels the scores. Now let's have a look at the tackle on Nathan Foley and more particularly the disposal. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, it looked okay. I think the umpire guessed incorrectly. Oh, Tuck has been prolific tonight. His 17th disposal. Back by Moore for Tambling. Really made him work hard. And Luke Power probably had more time than he realised there. He was off balance as he kicked. Was losing ground. It's enough, though, to give the Lions the lead. Well, Terry Wallace would be a bit disappointed that uh, his defenders have turned the ball over. And it can be really build up a pressure, can't it, when you make a meal of a couple of kick-ins? Jackson, though, safely in the back pocket. Still plenty of work to be done before the area is successfully clear tuck just counting on Simmons with some extra body weight and size he had that over Brennan but not over Charman he's flying beautifully tonight as we saw earlier Brennan wonderfully unpredictable for Sherman 
Copeland provides one option, Brown another, but neither really what he was after. Bradshaw, the eventual decision. Good work from McGowan, and it's over and out. So can you get a feel, boys, for which way this game's going to go? Pretty hard on the evidence we saw in the first half. We certainly want, wouldn't want the clearances to continue, but Brisbane have lifted in the intensity of the early part of this third quarter. So they've had a couple of shots on goal, which they haven't taken their opportunities. But in terms of the flow of the game, well, it's clear Richmond finished very, very well in that second quarter. Lions came out and won the first centre takeaway. They're doing well just at the moment. Brennan's kicked those straight to first field. Nathan Brown slots it. He's kicked the impossible goal. Goes behinds. <laughs> the umpire wanted to make sure that it's yeah, adjudged to behind. <laughs> Tigers have got about 15 players in their defensive 50. Absolutely no one in their forward line. They are completely out of position at the moment. All the play in one half. All the Richmond players have come down into their back line. They're having trouble getting it out. Yeah, they can't get it out, can they? That's the other end of the ground here at Telstra Dome. All the action in one half. Brisbane have added four behinds, not all off their own boots. That's a good kick in and a good mark to Shane Tuck. Tigers looking to generate something out of defence. Newman just panicking a little on the hand pass. Oh, and Dalziel for Bradshaw. And on the counter-attack, yeah. Brisbane making it look ugly for Richmond. Well, again, Tim, it's a turnover with just sloppy plate. We've seen two sloppy kicks, and that handball by Newman was just a shocker. You know, just at the feet of his teammate. And uh, they're going to pay a penalty. Bradshaw kicked the opening goal of the night. That's his second. The Lions lead by eight points. And you see this handball here. And just, well, clearly wasn't on, of course. Had to get that ball going forward. And there was a. <laughs> Bradshaw wasn't the only one on his own, it was about three Lions players. So he had a, a pretty easy pick. So two goals Brown, two goals Bradshaw. Plenty to think about for the guys in the box there. Margin is eight and the Lions dominating. They've had the five inside 50s to nil in this quarter. It looked like the trend might just continue. Copeland doing it hard. And on the end of it, Simon Black, smooth moving as ever, and on target. And the Tigers have got some real issues now. And they're sta starting to get their hands on the footy in the middle. Costly fumble. Oh, costly fumble by Cochin. And again. A Richmond turnover puts the ball in the hands of the Lions and it's given them a chance to kick two goals in one minute. Clearance is 3 0 this quarter to Brisbane, so that's a turnaround from what we had in the first half. But Richmond are their own worst enemies. Well, one team's come out more ready for action after half time. And it's the one that was struggling in the second quarter. They win another clear takeaway. Notting for Brown. Tempted to run on, didn't go. Right decision. Another clearance. Another lovely kick to the uh, side, which enabled Brownie to run onto it. He had a bit of a look at his opponent. He knew he was in front. And then he just let the ball come onto him. So were they watching the nab analyzer Vossi? <laughs> Might have a live feed into the into the rooms, Tim. Brown for his third. Dueling goals with Bradshaw. Dueling misses as well. Brown has 2-2. Two, two. And this is where it becomes a real tactical battle because now Brisbane have all their forwards in the forward 50. It suits them because they're starting to win the ball around the contest. Gee, look at the swing of the Richmond players to the one side of the ground. 
Well, it does give them the extra numbers, doesn't it, on that side? Because the Brisbane players remain where they were in their zone. She they're fumbling Richmond. Not sure what they had at half time. Richardson. Reva wrestled out of it. It's okay, oh, said the umpire. Surely he was held. He was just thrown. These are some of the Richmond fumbles that uh, have just been killing them. That's the terrible handball by Newman. Turnover, goal. And here we see Cochin fumble in the centre square. Turnover and another goal to Black. And a free kick. Again, not appreciated by some of the Tiger fans. Power and now Sherman. Copeland waiting at the back. Oh, Richard, how brave. Doesn't get there. Brown just gets shoved. Copeland also on all fours there. And he's been penalised. The and last something for the Tiger Adam fans Patterson, to cheer kick, about Adam. in this Stay second there, Robert, half. Richo with the eye shot <laughs> almost took the mark. <laughs> well, you'd be thinking, I'm going to get smashed here. That's yeah. a shocking oh, kick. Yeah. Absolute shocking kick. Moore was the offender. Oh, Notting will get a free kick for being held. No, he's, I think he's been penalised, has he? I like that as a call because the ball was dislodged in the tackle. And he could have gone the other way because he continued on with the tackle. But I don't mind that. It was incorrect disposal. McGuan dangerous. They're trying their best to lose this, Richmond. More. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Extraordinary. McMahon. McGuan laying the shepherd. McMahon, good kick. Simmons, hard lead. You wouldn't want it to have been in his way. He's a big man. Can travel fast. Nathan Brown. Too much against him there. Ten minutes into the fir into this third quarter, and they get their first inside 50. Richmond didn't last very long, but they'll go back in. Perhaps great smother on the kick. Tuck, Tambling, Brennan, who affected the smother, now lays a tackle. Patful power. Delidio pressuring him. Copeland. Patful again. They're not running hard enough, Richmond. Drummond. Snap on that kick from Drummond. Just got lazy. Ball leaves an area and Richmond players are the last to leave the area where the ball was. Sherman to Charman. Brisbane reload and get some run from Rowe and they have a man loose. And it's Corrie. Well, this has turned quite decisively and dramatically since half-time. Jared Brennan plunging across Nathan Brown's kick. Been a factor early, Brennan, in this quarter. Anthony Corrie in game number 50 can stretch the lead to 21 points from two down at half time. Looks good. Very good. The Lions go further ahead. gone up and down like a yo-yo. Brisbane led in the second quarter by 22. Richmond then took control. Came back, gained a lead of a kick and a half. They've given it all back and more since. And that statistic says a lot, doesn't it, in this third quarter. Inside 50s, 9 to one and we've been going 12 minutes now four consecutive goals to brisbane as they did earlier the tigers themselves had two runs of three consecutive goals so they know that if they can get back on their game they're still in it but this has been an incredible wow. turnaround johnson with some options on the outer side shilts the man most likely had a good run up great protection by mcmahon to enable shilts to mark that did enough to keep his opponent out of the contest without giving away a free kick Big kick, Wolsey. It's a big kick because they desperately need to get one back. Otherwise, the confidence, you can just see the confidence uh, draining out of this Richmond team. They're not running hard enough. Big and, kick, and, big run up. And no, no one's taking leadership at the moment. Starts in the back pocket. He'll be exhausted by the time he comes in to shoot for goal. <laughs> From outside 50. 
and uh, didn't give the Richmond fans much to get excited about behind the goals. Never on target. Been 19 minutes since they scored the Tigers. They've got the big zone defence up again, Richmond. And uh, there's about, well, actually, there's 18 players in that zone defence. Well, I see, I think we might call it uh, <laughs> Plough's Press. <laughs> Charman with reach to Brennan. Oh, yes. He's enigmatic, but uh, he's thrilling. Oh, Too far. oh, gee, that's tough. It's ball sport. We're in a few circles and then another 10 metres. <laughs> right there, Schultz. Good commentary. So Schultz, who missed the long shot for goal, much too far out here. Tigers desperate for a goal. He goes for Richo. It's where you go when you're in trouble. Doesn't come off. Johnston. Brown from behind, but Tamling led him to it. He, he stood his ground well there, Richard Tamling. Well done. Brown just seemed to misjudge the drop of the ball. Simmons. Oh, he's said to have played on. I'm not sure what he did to have played on. McMahon helps him out and kicks long to a one-on-one -on -one Richo. They love him as well they might. They'll love him more if he can kick his first goal of the night and start eating into this lead. Well, if he kicks it, uh, Tim, it'll be his 40th goal for the season. Again, Richmond's leading goal kicker. 20 points down. How's his kicking? No comment. Margin 19. The president has been busy. Gary March watches on. But uh, Richo's face summed it all up. Well, again, they've got that big zone. All the players uh, participating in the zone defence. Rowe takes it out, almost carrying it outside the 50. McGrath with issues. Had to kick very quickly for Dalziel. And now Riscatelli with Delidio. Well done, Newman. And Bowden for Delidio. This is a promising build up to White. Infraction occurred by McGrath, who's a bit sore as the play is going on. Advantage call. Mm. Doesn't prove to be much of one. Copeland the two Tigers to cope with and the ball over and out so the margin 19 midway through this third quarter and again the run of goals just drying up for the moment McMahon Cochin to his left and right but no way out of there right up let him up Cochin to the left of him, Cochin to the right of him. Brisbane by 19 points. Richmond just starting to find some intensity in the second quarter. Cochin in some pain on the bench too, Tim. Got smashed in that tackle. Well, some of their gun players, Foley's had one touch in this quarter. Cochin hasn't had any. Delidio just the two. Kane Johnson, uh, one touch. So they've just got to get themselves up and going, going. Here comes Foley. Threads it along the flank for Delidio. Right Safe on. hands. Move. Great kick. And a beautiful kick. And that's what they need. A bit of class to come to the top. And they've just got to lift. They can't allow themselves. Players like Cochin and Delidio, Foley, they cannot allow themselves to go a quarter with only getting two or three touches. They're playing in prime positions. They're given opportunity to be amongst the action. Well, they've just got to get in there and just get running hard and get themselves involved. So Jay Schultz having a second crack at them. Richmond still goalless into the second half of this third quarter. And that looks home. It is. And the difference is back to 13. And after some messy football, we see a class player come to the come to the four, just plays on inside and backs his kicking skills in, drills it low, cannot stop that.
Are we seeing another twist in this game? Well, McMahon's been moved into the midfield. He, he's been playing reasonably well across halfback. He's been given a turn to uh, get in the thick of the action. Simmons rucked on his own there. Mitch Clark let him get the tap down, and he, with Black's help, got the clearance. And in the blink of an eye, Travis Johnson's going to be having a shot for goal. And what's more, he's going to be kicking the goal. Back at you. Back to 19 points again. Centre clearances are having such a massive say on this game. And what does Terry Wallace do to arrest the slump? He controlled that area through the second quarter. He's lost control of it. And the results are on the board in the third. 4-1 the centre clearances this quarter. Brisbane's way. Kane Johnson hasn't spent much time in at the centre bounces, mainly played across half forward. He could be one that uh, he puts in there. Simmons a clean tap, but Brisbane a clean ball. Power to black. Richmond win it back. Round of Tambley. Kicking it a bit strong for Tuck, but uh, maybe he knew more than Tuck did. Put it in front of him. Now Revolt. Good spoil from Merritt. Solid tackling by Bowden. Power. At the heart of it, where he so often is, there'll be a ball up. Just under seven minutes left in the quarter. Clark rucking with Charman off. Simmons clear win to Johnson. Not a clean kick. Merritt, well tackled by Deledio, who's been good. Jackson's hand pass intercepted. Revolt. Play on is the call. Richardson's there. He very nearly snared it. Adcock goes for the line. Oh, and the Tiger fans <laughs> think that that is really below the belt. Not in the spirit of the game, Not Tim. All. Margin 18. <laughs> yeah, they should be cheering those through, shouldn't they? Not cheering them. Drummond. <laughs> Travis Johnston. Simon Black's having a say in this quarter. The Lions picking up their game, and look at the run they're getting from behind. McGrath with purpose in his stride, but Tambling was onto him. And now the Tigers. Reva. Delidio just applying a good tackle, and he kept it in the 50. Reva again, but the sheer weight of numbers with Drummond and the Lions. Danger hasn't passed quite yet. But now they should get away. Rowe has got. He had nodding on. That's probably where he should have gone. His direct opponent, Richo. Fading off, was able to take the mark. Tigers three goals down. Pressing again, but nothing really immediate for him other than a congested forward 50, but he chances his arm. Was hoping Delidio might be able to get up there. He, he couldn't. Revo will give him a chance to. This is Nathan Brown. Not even he could get out of there cleanly. Drummond. And a throw it in the pocket. Five and a half minutes remaining in this third quarter. Tense time for Lee Matthews in the Lions. Maybe a place in the top four up for grabs in not too far into the future if the Lions can win a match like tonight. Good contest at the moment. Richmond not able to break through. McGrath delayed. Did it well for Dalziel. Good attacking hand pass. Power. Brisbane dangerous in this situation. Young Collier poking it forward. It was a good delivery for Sherman. And he's gone all the way with it. All the way. Let's see. Yes, he does go all the way. No, he missed it. He did everything but nail it. And the pain shows on his face. Richo. Could have gone to Kane Johnson, decides to go shorter than that. Moore uses Troy Simmons and Kane Johnson giving him the signal to go out to tap. But in the meantime, Brennan was aware of that. And look at the ease in which this laconic man is able to put it beautifully on the chest of Jonathan Brown. And no. his good is just so very good, Vossi. And an, but, it, but it's another turnover. So Simmons kick, just not good enough. Hangs in the air. Gives the opposition a chance to intercept, which Brennan does, and brings it back. 
And you can see Terry Wallace, and he's just saying, how many times do we turn the ball over in this third quarter? Two goals, two for Jonathan Brown. And that really hurts if you're a coach or a Tiger fan. Yes, that made, made things very difficult for themselves in this quarter, the Tigers. And Brown was capitalising. Jamie Charman has just sat down on the Brisbane bench. They've been working on his right hamstring. He did grab it when he was on the ground uh, probably about five minutes ago, so maybe he felt a twinge. He's done some stretching and some warm-up. In fact, he stood up again now, so I think he may be right to come back on. I'll probably keep him off for as long as they can, though. Jared Brennan, a big factor. There he is in the centre contest. He won't be on the end of that. He had two disposals in the first half. He's had seven in this quarter and three clearances. And there he is. I reckon he might have been given a bit of a rev at half time as much as coaches give revs these days. He's well, lifted his game and he's he lifted has. people around him. And the time that he spent in the midfield, even the early part of this season, he has had some really good time in the midfield. It's only recently he's been pushed forward, but he's made an impact. He dead heats with Bowden there. Riscatelli there to receive. Notting. Dalziel. Riscatelli. Bad kick. Brisbane's turn to give it up. Now, Richo pumps it long, hopefully for Simmons, two against him. And Clark getting back takes a very good mark. And Brisbane's defence is hanging tough in this third quarter when challenged. McGrath with Rowe running into space. And thought of him, he sees Adcock. Downfield, Free kick downfield, advantage called. Adcock backing himself at full stretch, couldn't get the contact. Bradshaw giving it off, Copeland kicks the goal and Brisbane lead by five goals plus. The Tiger fans in stunned silence. That's where it started. Yeah, very good mark by Mitch Clark and he's rucking whilst Charman's off the field. Jason Rose having a corker of a game. Lots of, when he gets it, when Rowe gets it, he's very much a 70-metre player. He runs and carries it, then gets his long kick, and uh, it just takes it from a half back to half forward. Charman back on the field. That's about as animated as Lee gets, isn't it, too, boss? <laughs> it is. Brisbane are running and spreading very quickly from the contest, and Richmond at the moment are just being left behind. And that's very fatigued late in the quarter. Hasn't that clearance been a telling stat tonight? Charman seems to be OK because he's got them going again. Power and Notty just out of the reaches of uh, Jonathan Brown and Cal Moore takes the mark. Now he goes to Patterson, trusted the big man to take the grab, which he couldn't do. Tambling instinctively kicks in the direction of Delidio, who's got a plethora of options, in fact. Richardson, one of them. And he could have given to Jackson. He waited to try and give Jackson a better shot at it, but he actually sold him into some trouble. And Jackson, you can see the result for yourself. Richo with 13 marks. Most outside the forward 50. So Rowe in the back line. There's no one on his mark, as you can see. Decides to pass anyway to Riscatelli. Been relatively quiet tonight with eight disposals. And now Merritt. So just two minutes remaining in this third quarter, which has been completely dominated by the Brisbane Lions. And uh, they might be happy enough here just to see off the last two minutes of the quarter. Merritt for Delzeal. Again, Josh Drummond with a, that powerful left foot. 
Yeah. They call themselves to play on there as Cotcham was sneaking around. Brown the fumble. Oh. Let's more in. Foley under the pump was aware of that. Good running. Thirstfield in the long sleeves to the outer side. And Richmond have 90 seconds to do something about this. And badly needing something to take to three-quarter time. Tambling with scintillating pace. What does he do next? He backs himself. He beats off Rowe. Can he go all the way from 48? It is a brilliant team-lifting effort, but Daniel Merritt stands in the way. And Brisbane can do no wrong. Six goals to one in this quarter. Richmond's best efforts. Uh, just making no impact. McGrath, more with Brown, finds the line. How have you read the battle there tonight, Bossy? I reckon Moore's done a fantastic job. I mean, Brown has got his shots on goal and made most of it. But I think Moore's done a pretty good job, considering that there's been a fair bit of ball in that region. Brown's kicked a goal in every quarter, but he's never really broken loose. Clever kick to Lidio to Tambling, and that's pretty good too for Nathan Brown. And they're good hands for Richmond to have the ball in. I mean, we do mark he Brown might play very on tough. around the umpire. He's tended to uh, let the umpire shepherd his opponent. He didn't do it then, and I reckon the reason he didn't do it is because he's blowing too hard. He needs to have uh, a few sucks of oxygen before he can kick this. I'm impressed with Richard Tambling's game. There he goes around onto his left. From 50. Oh, he is a terrific converter. He's done it again. Good. And he breathes life into Richmond. <laughs> there is a pulse. It's faint. But Nathan Brown ensures that it just keeps pumping. His third. Like his namesake at the other end of the ground, one goal in each quarter for the night. And Tambling showed plenty of initiative tonight. 22 disposals. He's been good, Hutto, and I really like the way that he's taken the opposition on every time he's got it. He's got terrific pace. His skills are pretty good, and that's what he's got to use. He's been in the system long enough now to uh, really uh, put the foot down. From the same draft as Delidio and Tambling. Patterson, the Ruckman. This is White. So the Tigers with just a last little spurt here. And some good heavy protection work off the ball from Jay Shilts. Time is the major enemy here for Nathan Brown and Richmond. And at three-quarter time, it'll be the Brisbane Lions by 25 points, boys. They've, uh, they've dominated the corner. They have, Hutto. Uh, they've kicked six goals, six behind. So 12 scoring shots to the Brisbane Lions. It's given them a very, very handy lead as we go into this three-quarter time break. Uh, but Any Richmond, hope if the Tigers wrong? Uh, Rich, Richmond, uh, they're still in the game, but they've just got to make sure that they hit targets, don't turn it over, because uh, they gave plenty of opportunities to Brisbane with some woeful kicking and handball. Can they produce a miracle comeback? It's going to be tough. Back with the last quarter next. Richmond with uh, Richo down there near full forward Nathan Brown in the goal square Schultz who played reasonably well in that third quarter with some marks he's a marking target for him if they can get it into that forward 50 well it's as though there's a wind been blowing down to the Coventry end Richmond are coming home with it Edwards over the top to Jackson away from goal to Schultz good turn of toe for a big bloke tuck Foley circles, delivers, just didn't quite have the reach to get Edwards. White fights hard for Richmond, so a ball up inside their 50. Going into the last quarter, the entries to the 50 were dead level, 42 each. The Tigers on that count are now ahead, but on the only score that really counts, they lead by trail by 25. Charman and Black helping each other out here. Black. Schultz. Another muddle. Scrap well, Brisbane. Just got the numbers back there. What will be the Richmond tactics, do you think, in this last quarter, boys? What's their best chance? Well, I, I think they've got to use uh, Richo as much as they can. He's marking well. He outmarked uh, Merritt in that uh, third quarter. I, I put a lot of ball towards him. Another mistake by the Tigers. 
The initial handball was good, but the second one, not so. Corey to Mitch Clark, who's just going to get better and better the more footy he plays, you get the feeling. Voss, he's still not reaching his, anywhere near his potential, but some of the things he does gives you the indication of what might be to come. He hasn't found a spot yet, so he's played a little bit forward, played temporary ruck, he's played down back, so hasn't consistently played in a position. But the more footy he gets, the better he's going to get. And shows what he can do in the ruck there. Black. Kel Moore escorting it through from behind. He's not happy, uh, <laughs> Lee. What gives you that impression, Rob? <laughs> I'm glad I don't coach anymore, Vossie. <laughs> Would you go in and tell him a joke at the moment, Vossie? Uh, wouldn't be a good idea. There's a few players that are glad you don't coach anymore too, Walsh. Be more than a few. So Brisbane, the more efficient team. Richmond needing to do something about that in this last quarter if they're going to win the game. Tuck, Simmons, Delidio, been very good. And away come the Tigers. White for Jackson. And the little loop over for Tambling. Been very good. A little ambitious with that. It was always going to be tough for Schultz and Patful right on him. Made the hammering spoil and almost took out a couple of our cameramen at ground level. But they've got the shot covered at the throw-in. Charman. Two Brisbane players are getting in each other's way there. Kane Johnson for Richo, yes! Oh, what good hands under pressure. Not much more merit, merit could have done. And mark number 14 to Richo. He's in very good marking form. And I just reckon it's worth the punt to uh, maybe have just one or two forwards in that forward 50. Richo and Delidio would be a nice pair. And now the moment is at hand for Richo to stand up. His team trails by 26. He cuts it to 20 with a perfectly straight kick. Will the real Richo please stand up? And he does. Absolutely critical goal. And under pressure, as Wolsey mentioned, nothing more that Merritt could have done there. He was on his hammer. It was a contested mark. And the big man went back and he kicked the goal. And he's given Richmond fans some hope. And you'll see the fans there. <laughs> Not exactly confident. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not everyone has the faith in Matthew <laughs> Richardson that, uh, that he hopefully had there as he kicked that goal, as we'll show you shortly. But uh, 20 points is the margin. Richmond 11, 7, 73. Have a look at this. The girl in the middle there as Richo <laughs> kicked. <laughs> Never in doubt. It's back to 20. And this has been a game of very big momentum swings, which must give the Tigers some hope. Black. Certainly not over, and this is where the Richmond midfield really have to step up. Foley's had a pretty quiet game, and he needs to be able to lift Johnson, who's played more in the forward half for this game against Drummond, needs to start getting some ball in the, in the hands of their senior players. There's a bit of ring of rosy going on in terms of the matchups in there. Oh, have a look at the Richmond forward line. I, think, I like what they've got. There's a mass of players here, but if, you, uh, if we look forward, Brown and Richardson. Now, there's a bit of class there. That puts a lot of pressure on McGrath and Merritt. If they can get it forward, and they can. And with authority, the Tigers take it in, and McMahon can just pop it over the top. And Richo doesn't let anyone shut their eyes about that one. Nathan Brown finishes it off. Great call, Wolsey. Great call. The ball got through the back. Drummond dropped off the back. They won the contest, and then they ran and spread. And quality 
featured in the goal. Delidio, Richo, Brown. They've got to get the clearances in this last quarter to uh, have a chance to win Richmond. It won't be easy with Black and Power and Riscatelli in there. Good takeaway by the Lions under some pressure now. Well played, McGuan did everything but take the mark. It'll be a ball up. Well, it's the time of Batman and Robin, and they prevailed a moment ago. They might just turn this last quarter Richmond's way, given the opportunity. It's at the wrong end of the ground for them at the moment. Simmons working hard. Well played, Clark, but he got it out in the wrong direction. Again, Tamling takes them on and disorganises the opposition. Schultz hangs the kick nicely. Cotchen will get a no free kick. The ball you made front on contact. For front on contact. So the Tigers continue to advance. Bowden back to Cotchen. That wasn't good. Bowden made a meal of that. Pat full, but that wasn't so hot either. She and Cochin escapes. He's oh, great. Right, he's moving. quick. He's clever. He's confident. Johnson, Foley, Tambling. Richmond away. Tambling goes long. Coming with the flight is Bowden. Couldn't quite hang on. He'll get another go. And he will get it to Kane Johnson. Oh, what's he done? He, what on earth has he done? He didn't want the shot. He didn't want the shot, Tim. Great call. And the captain had to take the shot on. But... The Tigers come out of it with a free kick for holding the ball, and it's back where it started with Joel Bowden. We'll go back. We saw Richo combined with Brown for the goal. Now, we see there Kane Johnson just wouldn't take the kick on because he knows he's not a great kick, but he should have taken it on. He needed to in that situation. Since they got the last goal, Terry Wallace has put Brown, Richo, and this man with the football in the forward 50. And now this is the man who helped them win the game last week when he took the ball back over the goal line. Will he be able to put it through at the other end? It's his second for the night, and the margin is back to eight points. Here come the Tigers. Looked a tough call on Ian Collar. He took a couple of steps. In slow motion, he had it a while. In real speed, it was all in the blink of an eye. And one man who was important in that contest was Trent Cochin. When I coached him at the RIS as assistant coach under Alan McConnell, he was one of the best decision makers as an 18-year-old. His ability to be able to find space where there isn't was just incredible, and he's utilising it at AFL level. So much on the line, the player's well aware of that. It's back to an eight-point margin now here at the Dome. Morton's come on for Richmond. He's gone down to the goal square. His opponent's Jason Rowe. I'd rather Morton got way up on the half-forward line and took Rowe out of the action because Rowe's had a good game. You don't need Rowe down there with... Uh, around Brown and Richo. 37 disposals to 11 for the quarter in favour of the Tigers. Bradshaw's got to jump on the ball. Bradshaw's now got to try and get away from the wrestle and start to launch himself at the ball. Tuck didn't quite get the measurements right. Well, it's another costly turnover to the Tigers. Brennan really was working the low percentages there to try and hit Copeland. He couldn't do it. Tuck doing the hard things. Here's the turnover from the tuck kick. Brennan improvising as the Ruckman. Luke Power. Lark's kick and he misses the target. McMahon with a superior pace. Able to burn off Notting, who refused to yield, but McMahon had it all in hand. Johnson will look up and see a forward line which is moving pretty well. Richardson, of course! You can see his opponent's row in that situation because Richo pushed up to the forward 50 line and Rowe decided, I'll take him. And he said to Merritt, you drop back onto Morton. 
and I'm not sure that's a good move. I would think Merritt would be the better player who's got the strong fist and spoil to have on Richard. We talked at the start of the night about Richmond maybe finishing ninth again. Richard's seen so much heartbreak, he doesn't want to do it again. <laughs> this game has been amazing. Just the ebb and flows of the game. Momentum has shifted. And you see Rowe there as close as great footage. And as the ball starts to come in, almost the block just gave him that space to move and good enough to be able to take the one-on-one -on -one mark. He has lifted Richo. teams have got their B-grade Ruckman to do the centre bounce. Clark up against Patterson. Richo, two final quarter goals. A big clearance to the Tigers. Foley to Richardson again. Couldn't quite hang on. Merritt did the job. Still alive for Richmond. Delidio has been brilliant. And into the open goal goes what? And the Tigers are in front. Tostradone rocks. Six in a row for the Tigers. Wow, can we see that pick up and offload again? It was brilliant. What about Foley? This is a Foley special, isn't it? Yeah, running through the centre, centre square. I want to see this pick up. Richo goes to ground, ball flicks out. Watch Delidio, bang, one hand, and that offload there to find a teammate is absolutely sensational football. The pick up and offload. Wow. What can the Lions do to arrest this enormous momentum? The tumultuous 24 hours for the Tigers when it was revealed that Greg Miller, six years administrator with Richmond, will part ways with the company, with the club very shortly. The administration needed a strong performance and they're getting one late. Jackson surge was held up, but... Got to protect the guy with his head down over the footy. Let him up, boys. Around the loitering here. You don't want it in, this, in that man's hands. Richo is deep. And here is Brown. He could hit up a short pass, but he goes for the more trusted target in Richo. Doesn't get there. Clark with the fist. McGrath taking no chances. That, that kid wide is as quick as they come. <laughs> oh, oh, terrible calamity! And Joel Bowden knows a thing or two about kick-ins. He might hang, to the, hang on to the ball for as long as he can to let the clock run down too, Hunter. Now his team's in front. Well, he's a very, he's go back. a very smart player, you know. Well, you think he'd go back all the way to the other I end of the ground? Fire will go back. Joel Bowden, in old-fashioned footy calling parlance, would have to fall over to miss this. He stays on his feet, and the Tiger fans are on their feet as well. The Lions are on the mat. Well, if he saved the game last week, he's trying to win the game this week. Lee Matthews, you can see, is absolutely furious, upset, emotional, because he knows there's so much at stake for hanging on this game. The four points so congested between fourth position on the ladder and ninth. This is how congested it is. This is our ten. live ladder. Have have feel, that, feel the energy in the, in the stadium. It is absolutely lifted. Adelaide in control will win against Sydney. So, the opportunity for Brisbane would be at the top four. The Tigers are thinking about finals. Well, the pressure of that kick-in can cripple the best of them and have got Luke Power, who will be seething inwardly. As Brisbane try and retrieve a situation that has got away from them in this last quarter, they've led for most of the night, but Brisbane finishing, a Richmond finishing irresistibly, it seems. Tambling, one of the Tigers' best through the night. Tuck to Newman. Now the captain, Johnson. 
who had a bad moment earlier in the quarter. He does well here. And the hero of every Richmond supporter is on the end of it. A richo man. Tigers by 11 points, but still half the quarter left. You can get to the front too early. Adcock has to go the spoil and does it well. Drummond putting it in front of Notting. Running straight into a tackle and stripped of the ball. Johnson again, methodically to Schultz. Big man against him, Charman. Ball up. All happening at Richmond's attacking end. 21 goals to eight kicked oh, at the commentary end. Best game I've seen Richard Tambling play. Played yeah, most of it across half-back. He's, he's just been super. Quick, daring, bold. The Dome is alive with excitement. Brennan knows no danger. Black, normally the best of hands. It's tied in the clinches and you'd expect nothing less. Bit of time for Richmond. First field, well-placed ball. And it's the luck of a white who takes the mark. Speedy Gonzalez. White lightning, perhaps, from Tra outside 50. Travis Johnson, I'd like to see Travis Johnson put on the ball by Brisbane. He spent all of this quarter playing as a permanent forward. He's got some touch, he's got some skill. Get him in the uh, action. Delidio waits down. The high fly, of course, was Brennan. Brown. Fine. Wrong way, go back. So, 11 points is the margin. As Tim mentioned, there is a long way to go in this quarter. Richmond need to capitalise while they have control. White off and Foley on. It's another goal and they'll be hard to stop. Patterson bringing it down. Tuck had it for a moment. Richmond really putting the pressure on Brisbane's defence. White having a breather as Rob said. Nine and a half minutes left. Crowded defence. Lions Tightening up, Black releasing Sherman. Stiller. Done well there, Brisbane, because uh, Richmond have got numbers back. They just have to edge it up. Shorts over the top of Bradshaw. Brought the Richmond fans out of their seats again. Suddenly, they love football. They hated it in the third quarter. Patterson, Charman with him. Patterson perhaps lucky he didn't finish up with that uh, ball out of the air. Thursfield, Tigers working it around. Foley has improved as the night has worn on. Jackson, Tuck, and the Tigers control proceedings. Edwards, McMahon, an open 50. Richardson, Merritt with him, Merritt's been good. Still a chance, Morton bouncing it home. Almost home. <laughs> Richo says you should have passed it to me. The, the poor kid <laughs> twisted himself inside out just to get a kick. Hey, Riscatelli. And Mark. this is where the brave come to the fore. We've got the last, last eight and a half minutes of the game. And the brave, the courage to run. The game's on the line. And the oh, season. Look at this. Gee. Nodding. Charman. He's one big kick. He landed a couple last week. And he lands one tonight when it's most needed for the Lions. They're not gone yet. Well, they had a draw last year, guys. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Shot there of Richard Tamling and 26 disposals tonight. That's the most of his career. He's played across the half back line. He's had 10 handball receives. But the important thing is most of those 26 have gone to advantage. Still lots of time left. Richmond by a goal. Pressure on Jackson. He's gone for holding it. Brisbane's ball. They're reviving and Johnston's kick typically yeah. is unerring. And that's why they have to get him in the action now, Travis Johnson, because uh, he knows how to set play up. 
He spent most of this quarter deep forward. And gee, you've got to know your limitations. You've got to know what's around you. Jackson just set himself up to be mown down there. Cheney still of the shot to tie it up from just inside 50. He misses. Richmond lead by five points. Brisbane line setting up a zone defence for the kick in. Richmond players down the middle of the ground. You can see they're flanked by Lions. Most of the Richmond players will go to one side, as you can see, so the ball will go in that area. Clean start for Tuck and Newman. It's a bit early for the Tigers to be conceding behind at this stage. Foley's at half back. Well, I wonder when if Bowden will be moved down to the defence if we get late in the game. Simmons has got some space here. Patful's going to close him down. Oh, terrible option. Why would he play on? He's a big, slow, lumbering man. This is Travis Johnston then. A clean movement here, and the Lions could be back in front. Jonathan Brown digging deep on the line, and he keeps it in, as only Jonathan Brown can. The boundary umpire would not have had a clue, Where because was he? he was 100 metres behind. Well, that's why we should have four of them. He, was, he, he had no idea. He, he's cramping up. Have a look at that. We're going to have four in the finals, which is great. That's two where that's happened today. The skipper's had 30 touches tonight. Two on one here, Richmond's way. Oh. They only needed one. Jack Revolt is his name. Like Jack and the Beanstalk as he made the big climb there. There's the man. <laughs> He's going back. No. He's going to slow it up. Okay. He's oh no. <laughs> well, with six minutes to play. Oh no. <laughs> they're going very early. <laughs> McMahon. Now they might go forward. There's a bit of an opening. There's a bluff. Joel Bowden's pointing to his teammates, saying, "Just keep kicking it backwards." McGuan plays the possession game. More now. Just four points to margin. They survived a four-pointer oh. last week. Moore does go forward. Doesn't get a result. Sherman. McGrath. They've, got, a push. they've got to attack, Richmond. I do. The five minutes of play. They've got to attack. They can't just uh, start to play this possession stuff. Brisbane running in a wave. Sherman to McGrath to Bradshaw. Like they have really had Brisbane Lions under the pump with the uh, quickness in which they've moved the ball. Richo and Brown, Delidio have looked dangerous up forward. And I just reckon you get a negative mindset five minutes out, putting the ball backwards. This for the lead. He's done it. Started off away to the left of Straighton. It's Bradshaw's third. feeling that might have been the best thing that could have happened to Richmond. The opposition get a goal and get in front because it will force them to play attacking football. The Lions are back in front. It's been like watching a game of tennis looking from left to right tonight with the surges in momentum and scoring from both sides. Power turned it over. Big mistake. Now Richmond can go. Newman straight for home. Straight for Richo. Spoiled by merit of beauty. And McGrath as well was involved. They knew where the ball was going, didn't they? They knew it was going to Richo. Have a look at the spoil. Daniel, is it merit? No, it's Met McGrath. McGrath. Yeah, just a beauty. Big spike. Brennan's the third man up. He is often. Got the tap down cleanly. Power tries to escape the clutches of Edwards, but he can't. It could be in trouble. No chance, oh. no chance was the call. Tackled. 
Two points to the margin. Tension building. Foley clean with the kick. The other go-to man, of course, is Nathan Brown. He just couldn't hang on. He tried for dear life. Now McGrath. And the surge is with the Lions. Full head of steam. Sherman. Riscatelli. Back to Sherman. Adrenaline pumping. Fist pumping. Lions are out to an eight-point lead. Oh, they will challenged and they've stood up. You have a feeling it's certainly absolutely not over. But the determination just to be able to turn this around. The crowd were well and truly against them. And they've been able to fight back and get their noses in front. It's pulsating stuff, isn't it? I guess we, we see, when you see a good game like this at the Dome, it's uh, terrific. Just terrific play by Riscatelli. Hold on to the ball, Riscatelli. Draw the opponent, get the handball across. Tigers haven't kicked a goal for 12 minutes. They desperately need two right now. Foley gives them forward movement. Brown, clever, revolt, just as clever. And a wonderful kick to Richardson. Free kick. Him down. Smart play. Revolt. Could have bombed away. Lifted his eyes. Saw Richo. Him down to and he put it up in the air. Richo's played the free kick. Oh, what a game. Has the, the tension. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, he had the arm around the waist. Now, can Richardson finish it from 40? Yes, he can. The Tigers back within two points. Richo has kicked three in this last quarter. Going to be two or three minutes left, Tim. It's, it's tough time, no doubt. How many times can this match be won and lost by either team? Two-point game. Simmons got it down. This is Cochin. Edwards tambling. Needed eyes in the back of the head. Look at his head all night. He's been taking them on. The line's turned now to surge again. This is McGrath. He's had a bit of a say in this corner. Oh, McGrath's been terrific. The yeah. spoil. Couple of passes through the middle of the ground. And can Brownie get the distance? What do you reckon, Vossi? He's right on the edge. Right on the edge, deep in the last quarter. If any man will find something that little bit special, Jonathan Brown will. Still a couple of minutes of play left, I reckon. Some deep breaths from Jonathan Brown from outside 50. He is the money man. Oh, touched. A fingertip to it. She's a good umpire. Pressure on everyone. The goal umpires certainly not exempt. Super tackle, Sherman. So, almost 30 minutes gone. It might be Richmond's last play. Mm -hmm. They trail by three points. Or oh, one on two here. Not a good placement. And big Mitch Clark came down with the ball. And it was about the most precious ball of the night. And now it is time, perhaps, for one team to play keepings off. And it's not the team that was doing it five minutes ago. Jarman can go back here. He decides not to. Long ball hugging the boundary line in the time-honoured tradition. It's 50-50 now at the throw-in. Now, at this stage, someone just has to roll the dice. Someone has to make the initiative for Richmond. Here's the line ball a moment ago. Chelsea Roffey, the goal umpire. It looked as though it was touched. Her call looks good on that. Titch Edwards gets it out. Deledio to Simmons, just couldn't break the tacklers. Another go for Edwards, but he gives it up to Power. A goal will finish it. It hangs. 
Oh, and it's well marked for the Tigers. They've just got to run. More They've got to run. To McMahon. They're away, and the crowd come out of their seats. Johnson in the corridor. Tambling at one. The corridor is what they need. He goes for White. Tambling with him. He's clear this time. He's found the lead. He's Square for the last two minutes, and I'm just thinking he helped win the game last week with his step back over the line a couple of times. Will he help win the game with this shot at goal? He is. I know he hasn't kicked accurately this year, Hado. I think he said 619 going into the game. So this is the moment. Joel Bowden, three for the night. For the second week in a row, Joel Bowden might have got Richmond over the line in one manner or another. What a big set of bounce coming up. The fortune of both sides. If anything, it's really said the story of the day who's dominated these centre squares. Well, here we go. This is a big one. Richmond's loading their back line. Richmond's loading their back line. Terry Wallace can't believe it. Bowden, the goal kicker, he's gone into the defensive, defensive 50. If Richmond get control of the ball from a mark or free kick, they will go chip, chip, backwards, sidewards. What the uh, Lions need to do is get an effective centre clearance here. This is the fifth game under a goal that Richmond's been involved in this year. Out of the middle. You can barely watch. Travis Johnson, will it be the Lions? He took a long time to kick it, and it wasn't the result. He was after the umpire. Pays the mark. This is where Brisbane have to find their man straight away. Yeah. They can't afford this to be chipped around for the next minute. To Lidio. Oh, he's got a man behind him. He ignores him. Now he's going to go back. The Tigers do it. Somehow they do it. Army in full voice. What a win. This has been a Fox Sports presentation.